All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cade Gaming. Today, I am very excited to introduce you to Boba Bar Bubble Tea Tycoon. Um, this is another cat game. <laughs> um, I am very excited to share this. I'm going to call this an indie first look as well. This game uh, is in early access on Steam. It's made by one solo developer, and think of it as a tycoon game. I actually I got the opportunity to speak with the developer uh, and essentially he told me he's a one-man show. He spent countless hundreds upon hundreds of hours creating this game and it was inspired by Lemonade Tycoon. So if you're interested in games like that, this has a little bit of a retro vibe. Uh, go ahead, grab a coffee and let's dive right in. Uh, I've already played a couple of hours of the game to clarify, so I already got things started. You can see I already have an inventory here uh, going on. Uh, to give you a lay of the land, so on the left is your store, and at the beginning of any day, you can purchase tapioca pearls, brown sugar, ice cubes, and cups and the price fluctuates per day so what i have done over time is earned some money and said hey cups are at their cheapest so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna buy you know maybe 500 and see my total down there's only 60 dollars, and then i'll be able to save it when i need it outside of that you also have rental equipment down here so i've actually unlocked a couple of different things i'll show you that in a moment and when you do that, uh, essentially it increases your rent for the day, so you don't want to bankrupt yourself, but in doing that, it allows you to also serve more cats faster, right? <clears throat> and then finally, before we jump into our first day here, I can click the unlocks button. This will show you as you complete a day, you get satisfaction points, cats get happy, uh, and you're able to buy new drinks that are worth more money, or you have these upgrades, these machines, right? Reduces wait time between customers, uh, increases customer serve speed. Uh, at the time of making this video, there doesn't seem to be a description for some of these, but for example, this ice machine, I think it is giving me 750 ice cubes per day because when I rent it, I then end up having this number daily, which is pretty cool. And then finally, before we begin, the bottom right, it shows you the weather for the day. It's a sunny day, so I can expect a lot of cats to come. And also the mood of the cats. So there's some nuance to this game. As I've started the day, the day lasts for just 60 seconds, you can see on the right. Cats will come around. I've rented a bunch of things, so they'll go faster. And see, I see their mood. They're unhappy about boba, so they probably want more boba. So I'm gonna come over here on the right, increase more boba. Now they're unhappy about brown sugar and ice. So I'm gonna see if I can increase it, all three of those to see what do I need to do here. Let's see, I need more brown sugar, fewer tapioca pearls. No, more tapioca pearls. There we go, our first person. Um, so some of the nuance to the game, which I haven't quite figured out is, that cat image, you need to make sure you make things in a certain way to keep the cats happy. And then of course you have a price here at the very top. So you wanna make sure you're still profitable by doing this. You can see your ingredients here at the top. And then once your timer runs out, you're done for the day as well. Um, each day being just one minute, the game actually ends up flying by real fast. And at the end of the day, you can see kind of your overall stats here. So you can see I served 28 customers. I had 16 neutral. I didn't get any happy customers. I, I just got this smiley up here in the top left. That's a neutral. That's not a happy. Uh, I got plenty of unhappy customers and eight unserved means I missed them. I wasn't, I wasn't actually fast enough to do it. Uh, you can see the ingredients I used, satisfaction points. These are what you use to unlock new drinks. You use that to also, you know, get those rental opportunities. And then on the right, of course, we can see the average cost based on the materials cost for the day, not for what I purchased them for. My total expenses from rent, my income, my profit, and then I made a little extra money here from those unlocked drinks. You can see I played this game for many days already. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. So now let's see I'm into a new day. I can buy more ingredients if I want to. I can go into the rentals and I could say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna take away this $50 per day cost because that's just way too high, right? I could maybe take this away or add that in. You name it. So that way maybe I'm spending less. Because it's a cloudy day, I might not see as many cats. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. It looks like I already have plenty of ice cubes even though I took off that rental equipment. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and start my day. I'm gonna reduce these down to three, keep them even. I like to use that as a springboard. Okay, so maybe more ice. There we go, perfect, that's a happy cat. And then I can play a little more with this. So for example, I can see, you know, maybe they want a little less boba. Maybe I'll get super happy cats. Let's see, no, they're still somewhat neutral. Let's try reducing brown sugar. See if we get anything happier. Uh, they seem neutral still. So there might be something I'm missing here, but on the plus side, them being okay with this, does at the very least give me more money because I'm spending less money on the tapioca pearls, less money on the brown sugar, and I'll make more money by having my price at the same price. Um, this game for me is tremendously fun. This is the first area. This is the neighborhood. Uh, as of right now, as of March 2024, there aren't new areas yet, but there are more planned. The dev has big plans for this game. Um, I love the nuance to it. As you can see, I have already spent 69 days. <laughs> Literally means I've spent at least 69 minutes of shop time, let alone the time I've spent on the back end, you know, buying things, planning for the day, you name it. Um, so it's a lot of fun. And I think, you know, in one way, you could also consider this almost like an idle game. Once you've figured out the nuance, right? Once I know what this type of cat emotion is looking for, when I jump into the next day, I already know what I can do. You know, I'm already saying to myself, oh, hey, I can set it to have extra brown sugar to make those cats happy or something. You know what I mean? Stuff like that, which I really appreciate. Um, so usually for me, I found after a little while, it was really nice to actually have like a show going on the side while I let this run. Uh, I can earn more money and then we can see where things go. Here we go. Okay, so I added more tapioca. I reduced my ice cubes. And now everyone's neutral. Wanna, let's try reducing the ice cubes one more time. Nope, nope, they're not happy. Okay, I'm gonna keep it as is, just kidding. Also, as an aside, one other thing, this is our regular drink when you see these cats have this, you know, smiley face above them. However, when you get the big explosion like this, that is one of the specialty drinks. That's how you know you are getting bonus money, basically, from the sale. So it's always good to be aware of, hey, how much money is going into my rentals? How much money is going into the drink cost? Um, and for me, the fun thing, too, is there's a little bit of a grind. Your satisfaction points, you know, I let it go. If I'm actually able to get happy customers, you get even more satisfaction points. So again, there is some nuance that I'm missing here with the emotion, with maybe what the cats are expecting. But I think I, I love the art style. I love the music. It's a game that's so tremendously satisfying. I just think that's one thing they got right. Uh, maybe a way of improvement. Uh, of course, fixing some of these so we can see kind of what they they provide for the game. Obviously, new areas or ways for you to then grow. Um, so you can maybe get more cats, work faster, have a bigger stall, you name it. So that way there's, there's kind of that incentive to kind of keep grinding. But this game is a lot of fun. Um, so go ahead, comment below. Let me know what you thought. Um, if you are interested, there will be a link to this game in the description. I always love to support indie developers. So please feel free to check out the game, even if it's just to wishlist this, you know, give it some traction. Uh, as always, don't forget to like the video if you like what you saw. And of course, if you wouldn't mind, click that subscribe button. I have new videos twice weekly on Tuesdays and Fridays. And when you subscribe, it helps me so much. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed your boba and happy gaming.